Welcome mga kapatiran, mga kaibigan sa ating devotional sa umagang ito, God's Word for Today. And patuloy tayo sa John and nandito na tayo sa chapter 12, John chapter 12. And let me read sa ating talata this morning sa verses 1 to 8. Anim na araw bago magpaskwa ay pumunta si Jesus sa Bitanya na kinaroroonan ni Lazaro na muling binuhay ni Jesus mula sa mga patay. Siya ay pinaghanda ni Laroon ng isang hapunan. Si Marta ay naglilingkod at si Lazaro ay isa sa nakaupo sa may hapag kainan na kasalo niya. Si Maria ay kumuha ng isang lebra ng mamahaling pabango mula sa purong nardo at pinahiran ang mga paa ni Jesus at pinunasan ang mga paa nito ng kanyang mga buhok. At ang bahay ay napuno ng amoy ng pabango. Subalit si Judas Iscariote, isa sa kanyang mga alagad na magkakanulo sa kanya, ay nagsabi, bakit hindi ipinagbili ang pabang ito ng tatlong daang dinaryo at ibinigay sa mga dukha? Ngunit ito ay sinabi niya, hindi dahil nagmamalasakit siya sa mga dukha, kundi sapagkat siya ay isang magnanakaw. At palibasay na sa kanya ang supot, at kinukuha niya ang inilagay doon. Kaya sinabi ni Jesus, hayaan ninyo siya. Inilaan niya ito sa araw ng paglilibing sa akin. Sapagkat ang mga dukha ay laging nasa inyo. Ngunit ako hindi laging nasa inyo. This is quite a scene when Jesus was in this house. Actually, itong bahay na ito, mabasa natin sa Mark chapter 14, verse 3 to 11, ay bahay sa pinangalan ng Simon where Jesus and company together with the siblings, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, they were having a dinner in the town of Bethany. Uh, this is to celebrate sa pagkabuhay ulit ni Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha. And makikita natin dito ang iba't ibang paraan kung paano naging naging blessing itong tatlong magkapatid. Each of these siblings, in a way, does represent a mode of service Christians can emulate or follow in their lives. Di ba? Si Marta ay, he was, she was really the kitchen. Um, she is a hands-on lady. Uh, she, she cooks and yung mga practical na mga bagay, ganun si Mar- Martha. Lazarus is a living demonstration of Christ's influence. Um, while Mary, ang ginawa ni Mary naman ay she did a sacrifice and worship. Kasi dito, she anointed Jesus' feet with a spike nard oil. So, when Jesus was reclining at the table, yun, nilinisa ni Maria ang kanyang paa sa kanyang buhok na inanoint ng spike nard ointment. What is a spike nard? A spike nard is an oil made from plants grown in northern India. And then, ang, ang isang um, bote ay malamang it's just a little lesser than a liter. And this was valued at some 300 denarii. And you know one denarius is one weights, one day's weights. And dito, it was like almost a one-year wage for a common laborer. And as a woman of the ancient Middle East, Mary may not own a property or land. Wala siyang propriedad. Kaya nga, without caution, it was a substantial part of her life savings. It was a big amount. Moreover, the container of this ointment is of a marble-like stone called alabaster. And it showed how valuable this ointment was. So, ibig sabihin, very expensive itong spike nard na to. At inuubos lang ni, ni, ni Maria sa paa ni Panginoong Sokristo. 
So nakita ito ni Judas at sa mga disciples. And Judas commented, what a waste. Kung binenta pa ito, ang pera ay mapabigay, magamit para sa mga mahihirap. Imagine, this whole alabaster box went man. Inubos talaga ni Maria to unknown sa feet ni Panayon Su Cristo. I think we should we can reflect on this. If we are going to do something for Jesus, we should give all our best for Him and to Him. Hindi ba? Kung ano po yung kalooban niya, ano po yung calling niya sa atin, let's give our 100% para sa kanya. Sinabi po ni Solomon yan sa Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10, Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do all with your might. So nung nakita sa mga tao doon sa paligid, Judas, one of them, complained that it was a waste of money. It does not make sense. And even Mark expressed in his writing in Mark 14 that the others also echoed it. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang si Judas, kundi ang iba ding nakakita. Was it a waste? No. In no way it was a waste. In fact, ang lahat po na ginagawa natin para kay Penus Cristo at hindi nag-object si Penus Cristo dito, ibig sabihin, he, he approved sa ginawa ni Maria. Kung hindi pa ito kalawoban ni Lord, he, he should have said to Mary, don't do it. You can do it for something else. But it was the will of God. Now, balikan natin itong si Judas. Si Judas who said that it was a waste, ang sabi pa, <clears throat> hindi po siya totoo sa kanyang sinasabi. Because he was the treasurer, he carried the money bag and ninakaw niya ang pera nila. It was a manipulative lie for Judas for he had no interest for the poor. But he knows how to disguise his real intentions. Ganyan po ang mga tao po na hindi real katulad ni Judas, di ba? How many times people today are deceived by these people called charlatan? They are magaling magsasalitan, charlatan. Magaling mag-isplika. And they use Christian jargons, biblical jargons to make themselves appear that they are okay and they are walang mga, hindi sila kaduda-duda, that they are real. And they have sweet, sweet words. So maraming na-deceive sa kanilang mga salita. I hope that we are careful because not everyone who said and talk about Bible that they are really real. Jesus, for his part, defended Mary's actions, as I said, in light of his impending death. Ginagawa niya ito sa kanyang living, sabi pa ni, ni Panginoon Su Cristo. Whether Mary fully understood it or not, kung ano po yung mangyayari in the next few days, what she has done carries a prophetic element. Na si Maria ay nag because Jesus is a king. You know, there are just three offices in the Bible na i with oil the prophet, the priest, and the king. So Jesus played each of their role, these roles, I mean. He is a prophet. He is also a priest. He is also a king. And Mary did it before his burial. This Mary really, really is described elsewhere in the Bible as an avid student of Jesus. Makita natin yan sa Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42, that he was sit she was sitting at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ, just listening to Jesus and worshiping him. This was the privilege that Mary took really to heart. This privilege to honor Christ as Mary broke this alabaster because this was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Here, act resulted in an example that's been preserved in the very word of God to be cherished for all time. Yes, sa mata ng tao, it was a waste. But in the eyes of Jesus, it was something glorious. Let it be na makikita ng Panginoon ang ating mga puso, ang ating mga ginagawa. Whether people recognize it that we are really true or not, that doesn't matter. What matters is Jesus 
knew that we are real. May God bless us. Let's pray. Panginoon, salamat po for today, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for this example of Mary worshiping you by giving her best, by giving her all. And let it be, Lord, that kami din, I, we will do the best that we can for your glory. And no matter what reactions from people we hear, help us to be focused and not to be intimidated or affected by the comments of people, by what people say. Help us that we will continue to pursue what is the best for you, believing that this is your will for us and this will glorify you. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa amagang ito. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.